You know, I remember about 20, 25 years ago when I was on a job site, it was the first time I've ever heard of an oscillating tool, and they were made by a company called Fine. In fact, all the ones we knew of were made by Fine, so much so that we called them Fine Tools, just like you'd call a skill saw instead of a circular saw, or you might say Sawzall instead of reciprocating saw for the Milwaukee Sawzall. Ever since then, I've learned that these tools are fantastic. I've assembled four 12 volt oscillating tools to compare to see which one of them is the best. Let's take a look. I'll be comparing four brushless oscillating tools, all of them 12 volts. The M12 Fuel from Milwaukee, the Hyper Tough, the Bosch, and the Skill. I'm going to compare them in a number of different ways, and I'll tell you a little bit more about them a little bit later in the video. But for right now, we're going to do ourselves a good old-fashioned wood plunge test. 2.5 pounds on the rig. We're going to see how fast we plunge through with a much sturdier rig. Now I just have to slide the rig over, add another two and a half pounder, we'll see how she does. I bet she's gonna do even better. The extra two and a half pounds made a big difference. All right, now we got seven and a half pounds on here. there. Alright, that's it for the skill. So we had the first two runs were good, but on a 7.5 pound run, the skill could not cut it. Two and a half pounds away, bro. The Bosch! You've been boshed. We're gonna bosh this thing until it's boshed out. Bosh is made from the Germans. The Germans made Vosh. Oh, it's very good. Adding 2.5 pounds for more thrust and power. All right, we have five pounds on it now. Let's bosh through this boshing thing. You've been boshed. Part two. Let's add two and a half more pounds. She boshed it, but it really wasn't a very boshy bosh that time. It wasn't very bosh worthy. It's first run with 2.5 pounds of weight. We got our five pounds of weight.
So that's as far as the hyper tough can go. It's the five pounds it made it through, but it did stall out on that one. So we're stopping at five pounds for the hyper tough. Here's our M12 with two and a half pounds of weight. I really think the Milwaukee may have a fast oscillation speed. No problem from the M12 ripping through there. Adding two and a half pounds to make it five pounds. Shifted a little bit, but still killed it going through there. Good night. It destroyed that thing. Let's go on up to 10 then. That's a very impressive tool. The Bosch is roughly 11 and a quarter inches long. Measuring circumference where my hand grips the tool, the Bosch is roughly seven and a half inches around. The Bosch weighs in at two pounds, 2.2 ounces. The skill is 12 inches long. The circumference of the skill handle is right about seven and a quarter inches. And the skill weighs two pounds, 14 ounces. The M12 fuel is 12 inches long. The circumference of the handle is eight inches. And the M12 fuel weighs two pounds, 11.7 .7 ounces. The hyper tough is 11 and one quarter inches long. And the circumference is seven and one quarter inches. The hyper tough weighs in at two pounds, 5.8 ounces. And don't worry, we're gonna review all this information at the end of the video. To install a blade on the Hyper Tough, you lift the handle, turn it over, place the blade onto the tabs. But what I found is this little tab right here has to be pushed back so you can lock it into place. So it is a toolless blade change for the Hyper Tough. I have noticed that you sometimes have to tighten down this screw because it will become loose. The Bosch takes Starlock blades, which means you have to get blades that look like this. They have the little indention that fit into this tool in this area. First, you have to take out this particular screw with an Allen key, place your blade into the tool, put the screw back in, tighten it back up. So you do have to have a tool for the Bosch. As far as the skill, you turn the handle, flip it over, fit your blade into place, turn the handle back. You can loosen this particular middle section if you need to. As far as the M12, you lift the handle, loosen the screw, slide it on, Tighten it up. So you don't need a tool for the M12. The M12 has 12 different speed selections and has a battery indicator on the tool. The on off switch is a slide switch. The skill has six different speed selections. Battery indicators are on the batteries themselves. And the on off switch is a slide switch. The hyper tough has six speeds. The battery indicator is on the tool and the on-off switch is a slide switch. The Bosch has six speeds, the battery indicator is also on the tool, and the on-off switch is a slide switch. On this next segment, I'm gonna test the sanding capabilities of these oscillating tools. Every single one of these tools seems like it comes with a sanding attachment and a couple sanding pads, at least a few of those triangular sanding pads. So I cut some wood here, and we're going to see how these oscillating tools take this finish off this wood. We'll see which one does the best job. All four oscillating tools on the same screen, five minutes with 60 grit and two minutes with 120 grit. We'll see how they do.
Looking at the 460 grit sanding pads, you can see it really stuck on to the bottom right, the M12. I'm thinking the power and speed caused a lot of heat and caused that sawdust just to gel together. Let's take a look at the results and see how they look side by side up close. Now looking at these pieces of wood, you can see the two on the left obviously look like they're better off than the two on the right. The one on the upper right looks especially poor compared to the others. Go ahead and guess while I put the rankings on here. The top left gets a ranking of one. Just try to figure out which one is which here, guys. The bottom left I thought was two. They're awful close, so that's up for debate. But there's some brown left on that bottom left. Three on the bottom right. And then the top right is the poorest score. So which one is which? So the poorest was the M12 from Milwaukee, which might be a surprise. But I think it's because of the speed and the heat. And you could probably dial it down to a lower speed and do a little bit better job. Number three is the HyperTuff. So the Walmart HyperTuff doesn't come in last. So that's good, right? I guess. All right. Number two is the Bosch. The Bosch was really boshing it up on this one, putting the Bosch to a couple of the other ones. And number one is the skill. You wouldn't guess the skill would be the best at this, but it did a great job. I was really pleased with it. Thank you for watching the video so far. I want to do something special for my subscribers. So if you are subscribed and are kind enough to leave a like on this video, I want you to also put a comment down below. Just something constructive, what you like or dislike about the video itself, what do you want to see tested, your feedback on parts of the test, anything in that area. And what you could do is potentially win one of these. I'll be giving away this Ryobi brushless impact driver, a charger, and one of their high performance two amp hour batteries to one of the commenters below. So make sure you leave that comment and please leave a like on this video if you want to win this pretty powerful impact driver. We're going to check and see how loud each one of these oscillating tools is when placed about 14 or 15 inches away from a decibel meter. First up, we have the Bosch. Next up, we have the Skill. Next up, we have the Milwaukee M12. And last but not least, the HyperTuff. I'm gonna measure vibration with this tool and the higher the number, the worse the tool is for vibration. I wanted to see how these oscillating tools would cut through some nails. So I went out to the Home Depot and I picked up some nice Diablo oscillating tool blades. They're going to be great. I even have a Starlock one, so they all match this time. So we're going to see how they do it cutting four nails on our little apparatus. We got the Diablo enabled skill versus four nails that don't know what's coming. These four nails are dead meat, probably. Skill did a good job. A very good job from the skill. A lot of skill it takes to do that. Okay, we have the Bosch with the four nails and the Diablo metal cutting bit. The Bosch is going to Bosch right through these Boshing things and it's going to keep on Boshing until the sun goes down. The Bosch was slower. The Bosch slowed it down.
Okie dokie. The premium hyper tough versus four nails. We're going to see how the hyper tough stacks up against more expensive and less capable isolating tools like the fuel. Hyper tough is the best, much better than the rest. Only $50 comes with a battery and a charger. Can't beat that unless your mama's fat. What? The mighty Milwaukee will now go and show us how oscillating tools are supposed to be. I'm just kidding. I just make fun of them because people love them so much. I guess that makes me unpopular. Oh crap. Unpopular, that's bad. All right, we got the Millie Wake here. I'm gonna cut through some nails. Milwaukee's very good stuff. Impressive, most impressive. Let's take a look at the scores here in the Wood Plunge Best Run. Bosch came in third place at 8.5 seconds. M12 came in first at 2.9 seconds, which was awesome. HyperTuff came in last at 30.3 seconds. Skill came in second at 5.5. When it comes to length, the Bosch was first at 11.25 inches, tied with HyperTuff. Skill was 12 inches, and so was M12, so they were tied as well. When it comes to circumference, the Bosch was third at 7.5 inches. The M12 had 8 inches, coming in last. The HyperTuff was 7.25, coming in first, tied with the Skill, which was 7.25. That just makes those a little bit easier to handle when you don't have to have that larger grip and you're dealing with that vibration all the time. And We'll talk about vibration in just a second. But when it comes to weight, first place was Bosch at 2 pounds, 2.2 ounces. Second place, HyperTuff at 2 pounds, 5.8 ounces. Third place, M12 at 2 pounds, 11.7 ounces. And Skill came in last at 2 pounds, 14 ounces. The ease of the blade change, I rated myself. It's subjective, so if you disagree, please put it in the comments. First, I thought it was easiest for M12, tied with Skill. Second place, HyperTuff, and Bosch for fourth place. Sanding performance, I thought first place was Skill, second place Bosch, third place HyperTuff, and fourth place M12. I will say if you adjust the speed on M12, you may get it to do a little bit better, but in the test as we did it, it came in last place. As far as decibel rating, fourth place was Bosch, the loudest at 86, M12 was first at 79, Second place was HyperTuff at 83, and third place was Skill at 85. So everybody was pretty close except for M12, which was significantly quieter. In vibration, the M12, again, was significantly better at 12. That's 12 meters per second squared. Second place, Bosch. Third place, Skill. And last place, HyperTuff. So the cheaper they are, sometimes these type features tend to suffer. When it came to cutting the nails... First place was M12 with a commanding 6 seconds. Second place, oddly enough, was HyperTuff at 9.4 seconds. Third place, Skill at 14.5. And then last place was Bosch at 18.4. So they were pretty close, but Bosch brought it in last. The total size points. So what I did is I gathered some of these into categories to make it a better evaluation. So I took the size, length, circumference, and weight. Total points, first place was... HyperTuff. It's a very light, very small tool, which is an advantage. Second place, Bosch. Third place, Skill. Last place, Milwaukee. It's where the M12 really suffers is because it's thicker and longer, insert joke here, than the other tools. Total feature points. And this was the vibration, decibel rating, ease of blade change. First place, M12. It's just a very nice tool in this area. Second place was Skill. Third place was HyperTuff. Fourth place was Bosch. Total performance points, which is the, how fast it cuts through the wood, the metal, how good it does the sanding. First place, tie between M12 and Skill. And that's mainly because of that sanding. So if you improve the oscillation speed for M12 and you get a better sanding job, then the M12 would pull ahead. But as we tested, tied with Skill. The HyperTuff and the Bosch were also tied at 9 points. Total points, 9 for the Bosch, 6 for M12, 
seven for hyper tough, six per skill. We divide that by the number of categories, which was three, and we have an average finish of two for M12 and skill, making them the winners, 2.3 for hyper tough, and three for Bosch. So which one of these bad boys would you choose? Now, me personally, I think I'm gonna have to go with the M12 fuel. It is just a beast, and I'm guessing the score would be even higher if we dialed it down for that sanding test. So I'm gonna go with M12 fuel. It's not the most affordable, but you know what? It is the best, and I think it's the best by far, me personally. But the skill, there's no reason to buy the Hyper Tough right now, for sure. Because the skill at Lowe's currently, this is November 23, the skill is $59 for a battery, oscillating tool, and a few blades. This thing performs really, really well, almost as good as the M12 in some categories, and it's just a pretty good oscillating tool. It has a good grip. It's a little bit smaller grip than the other one, so it's easier to grip. Multiple speeds, great price. The 12 volt skill line, it's a pretty good line now. So you can't go wrong, and it has probably the best light of all of them. I don't ever use the light, but it's the best one if you ever do actually use it. The Bosch was okay, just okay. So the skill, I think is better. The skill charger is better than the Bosch one you get. The Bosch one's kinda cheap looking. I don't know, let me know what you think guys. I like the skill, I like the M12. This one's small, the Hyper Tough, easy to use, but right now, I don't think there's any reason to buy this because the skill is a much better buy. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching guys. And God bless each and every one of you. Hope to see you on the next video. There is a Zach Talk Shop podcast that you can listen to. Link in the description of this video. Behind the scenes information and more off the wall conversation than you can handle. Check it out.